Cancer friends, welcome. Uh -uh. It's the urban jungles of Cancun. This is your end of November. It's a heart spread read. This reads the ones on your mind, once in your heart. That's all. We're using the ethereal visions illuminated tarot here. Um, this looks at you, whoever you're thinking of, mainly. You don't necessarily have to be with them. Can be, might not be. It's going to pick up with the, the one that's in your heart pretty consistently. We'll look at you and your person here. Um, try to get an idea of uh, uh, what's going on and what the future could hold. And some advice from spirit I like to ask uh, in three of the eight cards. Um, and then an outcome. So let's see. We've already shuffled, guys. King of Pentacles. So this is your energy now. Cancers in and around love and relationships, you know. I have a friend, I kid around, so you're the king of pentacles, but he kind of is. It took him a while to get there. Um, and that's in a pretty a good place, a place of strength. You don't get to be the king of pentacles easily, so it's usually speak to someone that's a little bit older. Um, don't have to be uh, uh, elderly. Uh, if you're a young person, you would be someone that people particularly, you know, think of as b being a, um, particularly uh, mature uh, for your age, or particularly grounded or stable, like, um, I don't know, you're the one that lends other people money, you know, you're the one that other people come to that expect, you know, stability, because um, you would have that, like, in spades, and kind of like to read this as your energy separate from relationships, um, and, um, for just get a baseline of where you're at and um, you would be very solid. It's a great place coming to a relationship um, with that energy. Now this on the other hand, the five of wands is terrible energy to come into a relationship. This is their energy around love and relationships where their mind and heart is at right now. Um, or as they come into your relationship here as you guys are engaging. So. Um, they've had issues in the past. They've had fights. Um, it's interesting because you're a king of pinnacles. I mean, you're not somebody really that you could fight with. Um, um, so it, maybe they're attracted to that. Maybe they associate these these problems with like a, let's just say, fire sign energy um, of being quick and arguing and bickering. Because really, five of wands to me a lot. I've been married three times. <laughs> Uh, I learned through mistakes, I'm a Sagittarius, so, <laughs> you know, it's just arguing and bickering, but it always betrays something deeper, and it always, like, just can ruin a, a relationship, you know, so now keep in mind, this is the kind of the energy they're in as they meet you, you know, it's not really about you yet, that's the next uh, card, the fourth card, let me go back to you and see how you're feeling towards them. Um, but, you know, this energy, I mean, it's almost inevitable you're going to bring it into the relationship. I do uh, consider the bottom of the deck here the Six of Pentacles. So even though you're in this uh, fiery, argumentative, chip-on-my-shoulder potentially uh, uh, mindset, you're a person here, I mean, a cross-watcher if you're watching, um, you're dealing with a cancer who's channeling a, the most mature, responsible, capable part of themselves you know so let's see how you're feeling about them guys justice we have major kind of coming in now when I see this and this is how you're feeling about them um, I gotta feel like um, this is a, a, a really strong attraction to them and you, you might even feel it it's completely karmic um, for you and you feel like uh, honestly I think if you look at it you kind of feel deep down that it's about time cancer and you think like you know it's about time like I deserve this mm -hmm. I deserve this and who am I to argue with that no so emphasis on the urban jungle here we're sharing these spaces but so so nice you know Really, if the parrots don't come, they're little bastards, noisy bastards, uh, marauders. <laughs> so the moon, now this is your person's energy again, major kana. 
This is how they're feeling about you. Very much about how they're feeling about you and justice, how you're feeling about them. This could speak to Libra energy in your chart too. But with you, with justice, it could also be a feeling of, um, besides a marriage, you may have a marriage you have to deal with, or you may know they have a marriage they have to deal with. Um, it's, you know, wanting to be balanced and fair and to the other person. And to me, that would be a great energy to present to a person who's a little triggery to start with, you know. Uh, and it might even, to me, immediately, as just you being the King of Pentacles, I could see a person like that because they would see you as being grounded and reliable, stable, emotionally stable, you know. They don't want, they don't want like, guys or girls blowing up on them out of nowhere and being a... Potentially argumentative, abusive. Now, coming underneath of justice, no less, is death. I tell you so. You got to be sensing by now that this is a karmic connection here. In uh, the very advice from spirit, you know, when, when I see this, that's Scorpio, that's Pluto. Look at Pluto now direct at like 20, what, 5 degrees, uh, 24 degrees uh, Capricorn here and um, see what that's doing for you in terms of, uh, you know, could be trying or sextile even to something. You don't know. It's opposite my moon. Fair warning. <laughs> yeah, Pluto. Transit opposing moon. That's all right. Hmm. This is interesting because this is advice from spirit now. And for you, I get, like, submit to this transformation. It's kind of what I get coming under judgment. Because that's advice from spirit, but just saying, so it's basically confirming that there's a transformation, and you're supposed to undergo this transformation. And guys, if would you like tell me if this is the case? Um, could you be married right now, or in a long-term, stable, committed relationship that's like a marriage? Um, if you're watching this, or is your person? I mean, it could flip, and that's that's what you're picking up on. But I got to tell you, with this energy of this person, it's like they're not sure about you. And they, I don't know if they're saying it or not, but I think like they're not sure. Um, and they're just kind of, the moon is that something you don't see, something you don't see. And so they just may have a feeling, you know, and it definitely could be, um, you know, projections. They're bringing in a lot of stuff here. I mean, it's, the moon energy, too, can be frightened of your own shadows, you know, kind of energy. Seven of Pentacles is advice from spirit for them. That's like to, I'm, I got to say, it's kind of like, hey, calm down, calm down, and sensibly, realistically assess your situation. Nuts and bolts, what's actually happening, you know? Um, so it's a, a kind of like Virgo energy, okay? Uh, very grounded, very earth energy for this person here, Cancers. Um, and to be honest with you, you being the King of Pentacles to start with and presenting to them with justice and the advice of death, you know, it, 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 with the moon, they could just feel that there's something really heavy here with you guys. Probably in your sinistry, there's some intense uh, Pluto stuff going on. Pluto to Venus, Pluto to Mars, Pluto to AC, IC, DC especially, even MC, yeah, Pluto stuff. Um, and the planets, Venus, Mars, Moon. Been there twice with the Moon on Pluto. And it's not so terrible, but it's damn well intense. <laughs> if you don't like intense, it's terrible. So your person spirit saying this, they're really going to benefit by making a list and checking it twice, kind of grounding, getting down to grounding. And, and yours, it's like kind of more like kind of go ahead and go off the deep end, follow this transformation. I'm thinking of uh, um, Neo in the Matrix, you know, follow the white rabbit. It's like that's kind of like justice and death, it's like follow, follow the white rabbit. Kind of energy. Now, this is advice for the relationship as a whole. Yeah. Mm, King of Wands. In this deck, uh, quite a beefy fellow. Uh, kind of cherub like. 
you know, like the uh, boyish young looks of this king here. Uh, it's kind of, you could call him a boy king, you know, young, very young man. But very stout and very uh, firm, you know, I get the feeling. This does bring to a lot of Leo energy. And this is advice for uh, the relationship as a whole. This is the core of the heart spread. And this is a confidence, a passion, uh, going for it. Uh, this, this is kind of spirit giving advice. It's like, uh, don't, don't question yourself. Have, have confidence, be brave. It's being brave too. It's like just sort of uh, not giving a fuck really. The king of wands, it's just bringing it, bringing it fire, pure fire, guys. You know, you may have Leo in your charts here, guys. You reach in, your synastry together. Leo, you got a fifth house together. What's your composite fifth house? That'd be interesting to me. Um, that's Leo. Where's your son in your fifth house? What's going on? And your composite relationship, that shows the purpose of the relationship. It might help your person just to see the purpose of the relationship. That's nuts and bolts. Funny. Call astrology nuts and bolts. But there you go. I said it. And you end up now king of wands being advice. So it's going to be king of wands over temperance as the outcome. And this is the Sagittarius card. That is a nice outcome. You see the balance there. And, you know, it's, it's supposed to be the card of patience. And I always make jokes. How could that be patience for Sagittarius? I am a Sag. Would, anything but patient. You know, but it's not patience. It's partly why we're, I think we're so cool, Lord. Like, we're not uptight. We're just like roll with things. And the reason we're like that is because every we don't really worry. Everything's cool. If there's no red flags, if everything's all right, and it's like, you know, we're just happy to go along and go with the flow. And we really like that energy of just flowing. We're a mutable fire. Now, and you've got the king of wands over temperance here. So um, you end up uh, with the relationship. This I think with temperance, it could pl uh, imply, you know, this is not going to happen like right away. It's a little bit of time here where you guys are kind of melding together. Um, but I think with the uh, advice being the king of wands, for both of you, the advice is go ahead and pour it on. You know, uh, and engage with each other here. And I think you're going to be looking forward to this uh, really balanced, fiery relationship because, you know, it's also Sagittarius temperance, you know. Uh, maybe Sagittarius figures prominently in your um, composite chart, a relationship chart, or something like that. That's what I would see here in these positions. But let me know, uh, guys, what you think of that, Cancers. And do leave a comment if you want and tell friend tell friend and please do subscribe appreciate it guys